Lesson 2. Bacteria in Nature Beneficial Bacteria When you hear about bacteria, we probably think about getting sick. However, only a fraction of bacteria cause diseases. Most bacteria are beneficial. In fact, many organisms, including humans, depend on bacteria to survive. Some types of bacteria help with digestion and other body processes. For example, what type of bacteria in your intestines makes vitamin K, which helps your blood clot properly. Several others help break down food into smaller particles. Another type of bacteria is called lactobacillus. It lives in your intestines and prevents harmful bacteria from growing. Animals benefit from bacteria as well. Without bacteria, some organisms such as the cow pictured in one, figure 17 wouldn't be able to digest the plants they eat. Bacteria and other microscopic organisms live in large sections of the cow's stomach called the rumen. The bacteria help break down a substance in grass called chelicone into small molecules that the cow can use. Decomposition. What do you think if organic waste such for such as food scraps from dead leaves never decayed? Decomposition, the breaking down of dead organisms and organic waste, is an important process in nature. When a tree dies, bacteria and other descend decomposition decomposing organisms feed on the dead organic matter. As decomposition as decomposers break down the tree. They release molecules such as carbon dioxide, a carbon and phosphorus into the soil that other organisms can ta take in and use for life possessions, processes. Nitrogen fixations. Organisms use nitrogen to make proteins, although about 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen gas. It is a form that plants and animals cannot use. Some plants can obtain nitrogen from bacteria. These plants have special structures called nod from bacteria from um, nodules shown in figure 8. On their road roots on um, bacteria in the nodules nodules com convert nitrogen from the atmosphere into a form usable plants. Um um, nitrogen fixation is the conversation conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogen compounds that are used by living things. By Bio bioremediation. Um, can you imagine a news that eats pollution? Some bacteria do. Just that you use of organisms such as bacteria to clean up environmental pollution is called bioremediation. These organisms often break down harmful substances such as sewage into less harmful material that can use, be used as landfill or some fertilizers. Bacteria are commonly used to clean up areas that have been contaminated by oil or harmful plastics. Such Some kind of bacteria even can even help clean up radioactive waste such as uranium in the abandoned mine fields shown in figure 7. Figure 9. It, in many cases, without using bacteria, the substance would take centuries to break down and would contaminate soils and water. Bacteria and food. Would you like a slide of bacteria with that sandwich? If you have eaten a pickle lately, you might have had some. Some pickles are made are made when the sugar in cucumbers and is converted into an acid by a specific type of bacteria. Pickles are just one of the many food products made with the help of bacteria. Bacteria are used to make foods such as yogurt, cheese, buttermilk, vinegar, and soy sauce. Bacteria are even used in production of chocolate. They help break down and convert the con converting of cocoa beans during the process then of making chocolate. Bacteria are responsible for giving chocolate some of its favor flavors. Harmful bacteria. Of 5,000 known species of bacteria, relatively few are considered pathogens, agents that cause disease. Some pathogens normally live in your body, but cause illness only when your immune system is weakened. Um, for example, that bacterium 
Streptococcus um, pneumoniae lives in the throats of most healthy people. However, it can use cause pneumonia pneumonia of a person's immune system is weakened. Other other bacteria pathogens enter your body through a cut. The air you breathe or the food you eat, once inside your body, they can reproduce and cause disease. Bacterial disease. Bacteria can harm your body and cause disease in one or two ways. Some bacteria make you sick by damaging tissues. Um, for example, the disease tuberculosis um, shown in figure 10 is caused by a bacterium that invades lung tissue and breaks it down for food. Other bacteria causes illness, releasing toxins. For example, the bacterium Clostridium um, bot- botulinum um, can cause properly grow and improperly canned food uh, and produce toxins. It can, if the contaminated food is eaten, the toxins can cause food poisoning, resulting in paralyzed limbs or even deaths. Treating bacterial diseases. Most bacterial diseases in humans can be treated with the antibiotics. Antibiotics are medicines that stop the growth and reproduction of bacteria. Many antibiotics re- work by preventing bacteria from building cell walls. Other affect ribosomes in bacteria and interrupting the production of proteins. Many types of bacteria have become resistant to antibiotics over time such <laughs> some disease such as tuberculosis pneu- pneu- pneumonia and meningitis are now more difficult to treat bacterial resistance how do you think bacteria becomes more resistant to antibiotics this process shows in figure 11 can happen over a long or short period of time depending on how quickly the bacteria reproduces. Random mutations occur to bacterium's DNA that enable it to survive or resist a specific antibiotic. If the antibiotic is used as a treatment, only the bacteria with mutation will survive. Over time, the resistant bacteria will reduce and become more common. The antibiotic is no longer effective against the bacterium, and different antibiotic must be used to fight diseases. Scientists are always working to develop more efficient, effective antibiotics, to which bacteria have not developed resistance. Food poisoning. All food, unless it has been treated or processed, contains bacteria. Over time, these bacteria reproduce and began breaking down the food, cause it to spoil. As you read on the previous page, eating food contaminated by some bacteria can cause food poisoning. By properly treating or uh, posi- pro- processing food and killing bacteria before the food is stored or eaten, it is easier to avoid food poisoning and other illnesses. Pass- Pasteurization is a process of heating food to a temperature that kills most harmful bacteria. Products such as milk, ice cream, yogurt, and fruit juice are usually pastured in factories before they are transported to grocery stores and sold to you. After pasteurization, foods are much safer to eat. Foods do not spoil quickly once they have been pasteurized. Because the pasteurization, food poisoning is much less common today than it was in the past.